ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxer live with the unusual series of events that led to one deputy's downfall. Eric? Yeah, Wendy, that deputy's name is Stephen LeBlanc. He'd worked here at the Pasco Sheriff's Office for less than two years. Investigators say he was targeting a Newport Ritchie man and crossed the line. Do your job. Don't do our job. We'll do street justice. We don't need him. The deputy who once patrolled this neighborhood is now out of a job and could face criminal charges. Denise Marie Rock is all for it. I'm very excited because if you're going to be a law enforcement officer, be a law enforcement officer. Don't be a crook. Don't be a dirtbag and fight for my rights as a citizen. The sheriff's office is accusing Deputy Stephen LeBlanc of obstruction of justice and tampering with evidence. It relates back to a case in November when LeBlanc was arresting this man, Thomas Parisi, for spray painting a wall with anti police sentiment. Our information relays that LeBlanc personally would tell people, I I'm going after this person. I have to go after him. Investigators say LeBlanc had it out for Parisi, so he got drug paraphernalia from another neighborhood drug user, two spoons, a syringe, and a crack pipe, and put it in Parisi's bag. No matter how much these offenders may irritate us, get under our skin, and we want to go out there and take action, we have a responsibility to take action properly. One possible reason the deputy was targeting Parisi, Parisi spray-painted his own trailer with the words LeBlanc for Sheriff 2016. You think he was just sort of teasing the deputy by spray painting that on his own? Aggravating everybody. Yeah, yeah. aggravating everybody. And do I think the deputy had it out for him? I would say absolutely, but we all did because he's a jerk. Nevertheless, investigators say that the deputy actually changed his mind after planning that evidence and did not go through with the setup. His own body camera actually helped do him in. Live in Newport, Richie Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. All right, Eric, thank you.